So, is somebody being litigious or are you just winning in love this week? This is good, okay? Things are gonna turn out in your favor, maybe, okay? Or you're trying to make them. First of all, if you're not familiar with this reading, we have the, your energy. We have your person's energy. And don't lie, if you're single, don't lie. Somebody's on your mind. That's whose energy this is, okay? Could be an ex, could be somebody you just started seeing. Somebody's on your mind, so don't be like, I'm single, I'm not interested in anybody. That's a big fat lie. Okay, challenge, benefit, outcome. Cancer is six of one. So yeah, you're feeling victorious. Something happened. You're also celebrating. There could be a third party situation going on, but it doesn't seem like you worry. you're too worried about it. You could be suspecting a third party situation. Maybe you found out about it. Maybe that's why you're victorious because at least you know now, okay? And you're feeling like I did good detective work. Be cautious of this energy. Pluto is retrograde in Venus, okay? It's not good to obsess about something. So if you're suspecting something's going on, be careful. Do you really want to know, okay? This could also just be celebrating with friends and family. You could be feeling very social, okay? Maybe you got a response that you wanted from your partner, or maybe you just met somebody and it's like all love. Just relax though. You're feeling like celebrating, but Look what also happens. You go through this period of like all, all seeing eye, just uh, the high priestess, right? You're like in your zone. You're feeling all this, sensing all this intuitive nature. You feel like you know your partner is doing something, okay? And they may not be, so don't, don't react to those thoughts and those energies. The reason why I'm saying that is because you're feeling paralyzed and when people act, out of this mindset, it can get not good. So be careful, okay? Eight of Swords, feeling paralyzed. Now, what's good about this card? You might say nothing. However, swords are our thoughts. They are not reality. So you gotta remember that when you feel like this, when your mind is spinning, you gotta really think, am I really? listening to my intuition or am I getting myself bent out of shape over some nonsense I don't really know about? Okay, This is a very powerful card, powerful card because it means we can release our thoughts. I know it sounds impossible. Oh, just think positive thoughts. Change your mindset. I know that sounds impossible and I know that sounds cliche, but it is true. This bind, these binds, these blindfolds, this paralysis, is self-imposed. It doesn't matter how upset you are at somebody. It doesn't matter how somebody hurt you. It doesn't matter what you think you know. Okay, I mean, it matters, but I'm just saying it doesn't matter to the extent where you let it affect you physically. Okay, there is a difference. Nine of Swords, when she's laying in bed, staying up all night, can't eat, can't sleep, crying all night. Yeah, that's shitty, we've all been there. But at the same time, nobody's making her do that. They're do she's doing it to herself. So be very conscientious. And you know what, I'm gonna, sh let me pull this card, hold on one second. Somebody pointed this out and I had never noticed it before and now I see it all the time. Notice cancers in this nut. No, I get it. I know this is the eight of swords, but I'm talking about a progression of negative energy, a progression of negative thoughts, which is what we can have here. Um, if you look, she's crying. She can't eat. She can't sleep. Okay. She's making herself into a victim for one. And that's uncomfortable. I know it's crappy. We've all been here. It does physically hurt. I know. But also look, these are in the air. These are her thoughts. This is not reality. She's making it reality. But look what's on her bedspread. It's covered in red flowers. It's covered in roses. And they're right in front of her. So she can literally uncover her eyes and look at something that is beautiful. Something that grows. Something that represents love. But 
she's choosing not to. This is so important. She's choosing to stay here. So why would you want to be here when, first of all, even if your intuition is right on the money and something bad is going on, so move on, okay? I, I know that's so easy to say. But don't get your, and I'm just speaking in terms of this week with this Pluto and Venus energy, don't get yourself worked up. Do not get yourself worked up. People will take bad actions in love this week because of Mercury retrograde and they're getting themselves worked up and they're acting on impulsive, obsessive behaviors. So stay social, stay around people, keep your mind clear. That's where you're going to get this victory. You're not going to get this victory here. Okay? And if you're really listening to your intuition, really then listen to it. Because it's going to tell you to not get bent out of shape. It's going to tell you, even if you think your partner's cheating, what can you do about it right now? Okay? Even if you think they're lying, okay? How are you going to let it affect you? Because you can ultimately still choose. Okay? Let's talk about your person. Three of Wands, Sun, Five of Swords reversed, King of Wands. So, your person, they feel like they cannot take another step forward. I was talking to Pisces about this, Cancers. Look at this card. It's from another deck. It's a perfect depiction. Why does this card mean delay? Why does this card mean patience? Why does this card mean wait until your ships come in? Well, because he's literally done everything he can do. All of his actions are with him. He cannot take another step forward. If he does, he walks off the cliff. If he moves forward, he will damage the situation. He has to wait for this ship to choose to come into port and for those people to get off of the ship and come and find him. That's what this card means when they say, wait for your ships to come in. That's what this means when they say, have patience. There will be a delay. Okay, so your partner is doing this. It's causing you to get bent out of shape, but they feel like they can't take any additional action. They feel like there's positivity on the horizon. There's success and joy on the horizon. So they're in the right mindset, but maybe the action needs to come from you and you're paralyzed by your own thoughts. Five of swords reversed. You're not in a lose-lose situation or they're not viewing it as a lose-lose situation. Okay? They're viewing it as something that can be rectified. This can be fixed. This isn't as bad as you're thinking it is. King of Wands, they're being in total self-control. What does that make you do? Lose control. Because ultimately we want people to react to us. We want them to show us that they care. We want them to react with anger and rage or sadness or loving, kind, beautiful words. We want them to come towards us. When they don't, it is paralyzing. Okay, so if you're going to act, they're waiting for you, but if you're going to act, be very cautious and very slow and keep your words at bay. Okay, share the love this week, not the craziness. Everybody's feeling it. I'm not pinpointing you, Cancers. Everybody's feeling it. Challenge is the four of wands. Right now, there's nothing to celebrate. The benefit, however, though, is the fool reversed, which means there's not a new beginning. So this can still be fixed. This person can still be in your life in some capacity. You're not walking away and going to a whole new, whole new place. They can still be here on this journey with you. But you've got to figure out how to, how to uh, do it. And the outcome with the King of Swords reversed, this means don't get yourself worked up in a strategy, game-playing mindset. He can be vindictive. He can strategize himself right out of the game. Okay? This is manipulation and game-playing. And he's very smart. So be careful. And I'm sensing that if anybody's doing this, this is the outcome. If anybody's doing this, Cancers, it's you. 
it's not them because they seem pretty chill and relaxed. You kind of seem like you're a little volatile this week. So don't kill a messenger. Things can still go your way. Definitely, of course, which is beautiful. But be cautious in your approach. Okay, be careful. I'm going to clarify this King of Swords. Please clarify this King of Swords. What's going on with this King of Swords reverse? Please clarify this King of Swords for Cancers. Please clarify this King of Swords. Please clarify this King of Swords. Please clarify this King of Swords. Six of Swords. Okay, so this is saying, Cancers, to take a breather before acting. Okay, really get your mind sorted out. Don't stay in paralysis. Just take a short moment, sort out your thoughts, and figure out how to approach in a calm way. And then things should really work out fine, but just be a little cautious, okay? Just be cautious of the energies this week. That's all I'm going to say. They're, they're, they seem like they're doing okay. You are kind of volatile, so just be cautious of the energies this week, and I hope you have.